Welcome to my studio. Thanks for dropping by. As I was editing this video, I was trying to come up with something to talk about. I mean, seriously, how many times can you go over the process of laying down your pigments on your paper? Now, don't get me wrong. I will still have some videos doing that, but I wanted to do something a little different for this one. So today I wanted to discuss artist block, what it is and how to deal with it. Whilst I cover this topic, you will be viewing an art piece I recently completed, A Pair of Roses. The artwork was completed on burgundy pastel mat using luminance and polychromos colored pencils for the roses and pan pastels for the background. If you find this topic helpful, or like the artwork, I encourage you to check out some more of my videos, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos, and a share is always appreciated. Artist Block. What is it? It's typically experienced in a visual art profession. This could be professional or hobbyist or someone in between. Simply put, it is when the artist loses their ability to produce new works. That being said, it also comes in extremes. Some experience a low level and just need a bit of motivation or inspiration to get their juices flowing. That is where those usual tips you see on how to overcome artist block come in handy. On the other end of the spectrum, it can also be so severe that the artist is willing to abandon their passion and careers altogether. Masters and well-known artists have gone through this for centuries, so it is not a unique problem and these extreme cases is where I will be focusing today. How to deal with artist block. Since most artists block develop over a period of time, you cannot expect to get rid of it overnight and there is no one answer that fits all cases. We are all unique individuals, just as our art, just as our artist block. The first thing we need to do is identify what is causing the artist block. It could be just about anything, including anxiety, overthinking, lack of confidence, no new ideas and your mind goes blank, unable to concentrate, procrastination, burnout, overworking, and the list goes on. In extreme cases, self-reflection is necessary to understand why you are in this state of mind. I know this can be very difficult to go through but I find it necessary to understand the underlying cause of the artist block in order to know how to work through it. I am a firm believer that artist block is something that needs time to run through its season or cycle. Being individuals, our coping mechanisms are different and some will take longer to work through than others. So don't beat yourself up if you have done everything that is recommended to get over it and you still can't seem to shake it. You just haven't run through your season yet. I too go through this, and sometimes I feel my seasons come more frequently at times, but maybe I rushed it and just didn't finish my last season. So I take two steps back and start the whole process again. During this time of self-reflection, if you are able and don't rely on an income from your art, take a break from it. Focus on something new. Read a book, do other things you love. Just get away for a bit and give your creative mind a break. Sometimes we just need to find a way to quiet our mind and get those ideas flowing again. If you do rely on your art for income, may I suggest stepping away for a day and doing something for yourself. It doesn't have to be spectacular, just something that will make you feel relaxed and get your mind off art for a day. Sometimes we forget that we need to make ourselves priority every once in a while. So if you're not able to step away for a longer period, then make yourself priority once a week, even if it's just for half a day, and see what a change just that little step can bring. Personally, my breaks last anywhere from days to a week to months. It really depends upon the severity of the block. When I start doing the recommended solutions of just create something, look for new references, or at other artworks to get you inspired, and those actions only create uncertainty, self-doubt, and anger, among others, then it's definitely time to step away and focus on other things. If you are in the severe case, forcing yourself to do anything art-related will just create animosity, displeasure, and resentment of your art or anything you create at that time. Now, don't get me wrong, art has many healing qualities, 
But when it's your main focus all of the time, it can also have an opposite effect, which usually stemmed from an external cause that has either intentionally or unintentionally been brought into your creative world. When this happens, art is no longer an escape and a relaxing experience. Thus, the healing qualities are gone at least for the moment. So take a break as long as you need to quiet your mind, make yourself a priority, and deal with whatever external stressors that began your artist block. Once you find your why and make some time for yourself, you are well on your way to healing and reclaiming your creativity. What is your why? I'm Wendy O'Brien. Thanks for joining. And until next time, keep on arting.